Hey, hello, hello, hello to all of the viewers out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is a mid-month energy check-in reading for all signs. Okay, I will be going from Pisces to the sign of Aquarius. All right, in this reading or in this video, if you find that the reading resonates with your zodiac sign energy or your partners or whomever it is that you came here for, press the thumbs up image um, to let me know that the reading resonates. Also, to show some support to the channel. And with that being said, I am going to get started with the sign of Pisces. Each sign will be time stamped, okay? Each sign will be time stamped. I will be taking a break in between to write the um the times down next to the signs, okay? I will be taking a break to write the times down next to each zodiac sign i hope you are are enjoying this beautiful day okay i'm just writing down the signs now so i don't have to do that <laughs> as i move forward i should have actually did it before i i, I logged in but I didn't. All right, let's see. So all I gotta do is write the times down. Next to the signs, let's see what's going on with the sign of Pisces. What is going on? I hope you all are doing well. <laughs> uh, don't pay me any mind. Let's see, Pisces, Pisces, okay. I don't know how or why, but okay, let's see. Death card, Scorpio's energy is here. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart. All right, past energy. King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. All right, let's see what your overall energy is. The Eight of Pentacles. Then we have the Six of Cups. All right, Fear, the Three of Swords. Okay. Got a lot of um, sword energy here. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Could also be dealing with a Leo. Let me know in the comment section below if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Leo specifically. So Pisces, right now, okay, I feel like you are wanting some type of change. You could be going through some type of transformation at this time. You're trying to find new opportunities in a situation that may be over, okay? This may be the end of a cycle for you, but I feel like with every ending with this death card here, it represents a new beginning, okay? I feel like you're getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. And I feel like in you bringing in this new energy, it's requiring you to communicate your thoughts, communicate what's in your heart. It's requiring you to do some type of cleansing to bring forth clarity or to gain clarity to go towards this new beginning or this new opportunity, okay, that you may be confused or conflicted about. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of communication taking place. I feel like in the past, some of you were in some type of stable situation, whether this is your work, whether this is a relationship. There was some type of stability in the past that came to an end. 
could be due to some type of argument, fussing and fighting. Someone here trying to one-up you or you trying to one-up someone. But the overall energy in the past is that some of you may have felt defeated in this situation. Could be competition around you. And I feel like it it caused you to have to put an end to this, this union or this, this situation. You either walked away from a job or you put it into a relationship. Let me know in the comment section which one it is. Right now, with this Eight of Pentacles here, I feel like if I can get this card, some of you are just focused on your work right now. You're focused on your work. You're focused on building. You're focused on mastering your skills. You have new um, ambitions now. And I feel like you're in a space where you are building. Some of you are building to relocate. You could be thinking about moving, purchasing a new car, or you could just be building to stabilize your finances. But I do feel like in the near future, someone here from your past wants to reconnect with you or you want to reconnect with this person. You may have known this person for a long time. Some of you may have children with this person. There is some type of comfort level regarding you and this individual. I see an offer being extended. However, I do not know if you are going to accept this offer. Some of you are going to walk away from this offer because you may be in fear that you're in a third party situation or there's going to be some type of arguing, fussing and fighting here. Some of you are not accepting this offer because this person has already broken your heart and you don't want to revisit that again. They betrayed you. They caused you to cry. Okay. They cause some type of trauma in your life and you're transitioning with the death card here to confirm and the six of swords here, you're transitioning and moving on and leaving this person behind because they're not here to serve your highest purpose. Okay. So some of you are moving along. You're hoping that you can continue to move forward and communicate confidently and clearly what your expectations are. I do feel the need to say that someone here is spying. This could be you or this person. They could be spying because you have children to the, together. Because I do see children here. Someone is spying because you may have cut them off. This may be the only way that they can see you. Or to know what you're doing is through your social media page. But I'm definitely getting with this strength card. Is this situation is going to require you to have strength and courage to tame yourself, to hold back. Whether this is taming your tongue, taming your actions, not get um interacting with this person, to have to move forward the way that you want to. It's like you're going to have to disconnect from this person, okay? All right? So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Let me know in the comment section below if it resonates or not. Also, don't forget to press the thumbs up image to let me know as well. I am going to move on to the next sign, which is the sign of Aries. And then after Aries, we will be moving on to the sign of Taurus. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Aries and then Taurus. Let's see. what What's the energy for the sign of Aries? Don't forget, each sign will be time stamped. Matter of fact, I almost forgot. Let me write the time down. For the sign of Aries. All right, let's see. Aries. Page of Pentacles. The Strength card. Leo's energy. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Okay. Past energy. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Overall energy is the nine of wands. You have the lovers. Could be dealing with the Gemini in the near future. Also a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo. Okay? 
Let me know if you are dealing with a Gemini, a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or a Scorpio. All right. So Aries, I feel like right now, some of you, some of you have an offer of com coming in or either you're manifesting some new financial opportunity. You are patiently waiting or waiting to resolve or overcome some type of obstacles regarding your finances. Okay, let me know in the comment section below, Aries, if you are in a process of overcoming some type of obstacles regarding your finances. Because in the past, there was a new beginning in the past. I feel like some of you in the past, you had multiple options regarding your finances. You could have had multiple job offers, um, multiple resources. There was a new beginning regarding a career opportunity or... You had, you felt like you had multiple choices, multiple opportunities. And right now you're just feeling beat down. Right now you're feeling beat down. You're tired. <laughs> okay. You feel like you are close to success and I'm definitely getting you um, persevering and standing your ground, standing on what you believe in keeping a faith, but your faith is being tested right now. Your faith is being tested regarding your finances. And I feel like in the near future, there's a major decision that um, will be taking place. It's going to require you to have wisdom and courage in order to make the right decision. Okay. Because this decision is going to affect the stability of your finances for the long haul. Okay. Okay. You fear putting it, putting an end to something. There's a fear here that something here is come, closing out, is coming full circle, and it causes you to have your guard up because you want and you're determined to be successful or to succeed, to work towards this abundance, okay? But there's some type of blockage here. There's some type of blockage or or. Right now is not the right time. You're hoping that you can transition through this, this um, part of your journey smoothly. You're hoping that you can move on smoothly. You're hoping that you can leave something behind smoothly. But I feel like in your outcome, there's going to be a little hiccup in the road. Because this is going to um, result in some type of loss and pain here. Because you are separating yourself from something, I feel like it was long term. Why is this three of swords here? Yeah. Sagittarius um, energy is here. I feel like with this outcome being the three of swords, some of you may need to wait. With the three of wands and a temperance card coming out, some of you need to wait and be patient until you gain more resources to make the right decision some of you are maybe acting hastily right now you're moving too fast you don't have a clear vision of what's next and that um the fact that you don't have a clear vision of what's next is going to create some type of heartbreak for you some type of pain some type of sorrow so i would definitely like try to take my time in this matter so that when you do make this decision that you have to make, because it is a life-changing decision, it um that it it this decision takes you to the place where you want to be. Okay. All right, so that's what I have for you, Aries. I'm gonna move on to the sign of Taurus now. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Taurus. Hope all my Tauruses are doing well on today. What is the energy for? The sign of Taurus, mid-month check-in for the sign of Taurus. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Taurus, some of you have a decision to make. You're weighing your options. This, ha this could have something to do with travel. This could have something to do with your finances. Some of you may need to relocate 
to balance out your finances. Some of you, this decision has something to do with two people. Okay, let me know in the comment section. But that's what I'm getting. There's something here about a decision that needs to be made about travel, or this is a decision being made pertaining to two people. Okay? And I feel like in the past, Taurus, with this Knight of Swords here, some of you were moving too fast. You had too many options. You were moving too fast. <laughs> and right now, you're tired. You may be feeling worn out. You may be feeling beat down. You're feeling like things are not going in your favor. Okay? You're trying to overcome. You're trying to persevere. You're trying to move forward. And then you have a defense up. And I feel like you may have this defense up because you were moving too fast in the past. So some of you may have gotten into a situation, a relationship, a situationship in the past that led to you with this seven of um, cups here that led to you having multiple options in love. And some of you may have, because cups represent emotions, some of you may have gained some emotions for someone that you weren't supposed to, but you gained those emotions for this person because you were moving too dang on fast. Now, you have your guard up, okay? Now you have your guard up because there's a decision here that needs to be made, but you're holding back from making this decision because I feel like some of you with the lover's car here, Gemini's energy, you love, there are two people here that you have feelings for. And you're trying to make a wise or you need to make the wise decision. So I feel like you may be holding back from making that decision because you don't know who you want. Okay. The world card here. You're hoping that something here comes full circle and there will be some type of peace and harmony. You can find your, your space and your place in this situation. But you're still waiting. You're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right opportunity. Some of you are waiting to have a conversation with someone with this queen of swords here. I'm sorry, this king of swords. Some of you are waiting to have a conversation with someone to bring forth some type of mental clarity for you. And that will determine the decision that you make for yourself moving forward. Okay. For some of you, again, this may this decision may have something to do with you traveling, okay? Once you make this decision, it may require you to travel or to relocate. And, and because you don't know what's on the other side of this travel or this um, relocation, it's like you're just, you're biding your time. But time is running out. There, you're going to have to make a decision, so that you can move forward because right now you're confused and stuff. Okay. All right. Let's see. Who do we have next? What sign? <laughs> let's see who's next. Uh, Gemini. So we have Gemini, Cancer, and then Leo. Gemini. Oh, shoot. I forgot to write down the time, the time stamp for Taurus. How the hell did I do that? Okay, that's just one. I thought I wrote it down. Well, what the hell did I put the book up for? <laughs> Gemini. Oh, I know how I got distracted. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Gemini. And the person they came here for. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gemini. Um, let me write the time stamp down so I don't forget. Okay. Ooh, Gemini, who the hell did you block? Who did you block now? Could be a Cancer or a Pisces that you block. Ugh. Sagittarius. Virgo. Thank you. Thank you. 
King of Wands. You got a lot of water here. So I feel like this is an, an emotional uh, situation. Yeah, definitely a lot of emotion here. Or some of you are dealing with a water sign. But you got your current energy is the two of swords. Some of you didn't cut someone off. Something here, um, you may have cut this person off because you feel like that you feel like they're hiding something. Okay. You may have cut this person off because you feel like they're keeping secrets. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. This person keeps you in a space of anxiety. Okay. Because I feel like in the past you walked away from this person or you wanted to walk away from this person, but I feel like this situation with the temperance card required you to have some type of patience until you gain clarity. Because you got the moon card here and then you got a moon in this eight of cups, which means something here is being hidden. Okay, someone could be sneaking out of a home at night. They could have been sneaking out of a home at night. Okay. And I feel like, again, you were patient in this situation. And right now, you're just holding back until you gain the wisdom and clarity that you need that will help you to move forward. Because I feel like you're having some type of exhaustion. Um, there's some type of deep wound regard regarding this situation and it's causing you to like hold back your energy, withdraw your energy from this situation until you gain the clarity that you need to cut it off permanently. You're feeling disappointed. You're feeling betrayed. You feel stabbed in the back. You feel let down. You fear reconnecting with this person because you feel like you're going to give your love and they're not going to reciprocate it. They're going to give you the bare minimum. Okay? So now you have your guard up. Because you know the vision that you have for yourself. The vision is that you want to go towards a wish fulfillment. You want abundance. You want someone that is going to give you reciprocity. You want some type of material success. Okay? And that's not what you're getting. This person is leaving you anxious at night. You're sleeping alone. You don't know if you are, um, you don't know if you're coming or going, or you don't know if this person is coming or going. They could be in and out. They're off and on. They are hot and cold. They have options. And you're in fear that they're going to break your heart. So you're just going to leave it alone altogether. You're going to leave it alone altogether. Yeah, you're pulling back until you know for sure that this person is here. And so then you're going to move on. So that's what I got. I see you moving on from this because at this point, this is not serving your highest purpose. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. Okay. Could also be dealing with a Scorpio. There is a lot of water energy here. But that's what I have. I'm going to leave it at that. Gemini's, comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Okay. And I am going to be moving on to the sign of cancer. Cancer's sign is up next. I will be shuffling first. And then I will be writing down the time. Because it helps me when I upload the video or I start doing my edits, I don't have to um, go back to look at the times. I can just type them in. I see cancer. Cancer, some of you feel stuck in a situation. You may be feeling stuck. You may be feeling like you're going around in circles. You feel like you and this person also butt heads a lot. There's little to no communication when you do communicate with this person. It could be like bickering or nitpicking or some type of arguing. But let's see. Mm-hmm. That nine of swords. Page of swords, nine of swords. Knight of cups. The emperor. Aries energy is here. Okay. Okay.
High Priestess. The star card Aquarius energy is here. Okay. So this has something to do with the family. Definitely see a family here. Let me write the time down. Um, cancer. So cancers, it looks like right now, some of you are overthinking. You could be feeling anxious at this time. You feel you're in some type of mental prison. Okay. And I feel like you're in this mental prison because you feel restricted. You feel trapped. You feel helpless. It's like you feel unproductive. Um, you feel powerless right now. You feel like something is going on that you can't see. You could be spying on someone at this time, checking out their social media page, driving past their home. You could be trying to come up with new ideas, new ideas of inspiration. Um, some of you are... I feel like you need to communicate exactly what it is that you want because you're, someone here is spying on you or you're spying on this person. Okay, checking out someone's social media page. Again, driving past their home, their work page. Someone here could um, be looking through somebody's cell phone or tracking someone some kind of way. But I feel like in the past with the lover's card here, you were trying to offer someone a cup of your love. You were trying to take the lead. You were trying to be disciplined in this situation. And I feel like um, some of you may, may have bit off more than you can chew because you did not get the same thing in return. Right now with this Ace of Cups here, this is you just wanting to have a new beginning in love with this person. So you're still offering this person love, okay? But you may feel like in your heart of hearts, that you're going to have to leave this behind or leave this alone because it's you are feeling like what you're putting out, you're not getting back in return, okay? Could be children involved. I do feel like you fear that something or someone is like doing with the high priestess here. Your intuition is telling you that someone is doing something behind your back. Their, your intuition is telling you that Someone here has secrets. There's something going on that you cannot see. Okay, you're hoping that things get better between you and this person. You're hoping that you can heal things with this person, that you can have a renewed or rebirth in this union. You're inspired to make it happen. But I feel like a conversation, an honest conversation with this Queen of Swords here needs to take place in order for you and this person to come back together. You need to communicate exactly what it is that you want and some boundaries need to be put into place or else you're going to wind up cutting this person off. You do have the 10 of cups in your outcome. So I do feel like things will be healed between you and this person. Um, you will feel that feeling of contentment again and um you will feel the sense of security again in the near future, but it's going to require you to have some type of patience with this person, okay? It's going to require you to have patience. And again, this could be a this could be a long-term committed relationship from what I see, but I do feel like this union will heal and you and this person will get back on the same um, frequency or one accord again, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancers. I'm going to move on to the sign of Leo. We have Leo um, and then Virgo and then we have Libra. Leo, Virgo, and then Libra. All right. Let's see, Leos. What is here for the sign of Leo? Mid-energy, mid-month energy check-in. For the sign of Leo. Leo's. What's going on with the sign of Leo? Mid-month energy check-in. For the sign of Leo. Let's see. 
Let me write down the time. Get that out the way. Leo 30. Okay. Judgment card. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Okay. Looks like there's a second chance or a second opportunity. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio or someone has strong Scorpio in their chart. Some of you are, you rekindled something with someone that feels like home. You rekindled something in a marriage. Okay, but I see a reconciliation here. I see a reconciliation, some type of coming together. There's a celebration. Um, some of you could be celebrating someone's birthday or planning on celebrating someone's birthday. Um, you're working towards something that you want to be successful, okay? And again, I feel like this is a relationship because in the past, something here in the past came to a sudden end. I feel like it happened out of the out of the blue. But with that ending, there's a new beginning here on the other side of it. But this new beginning has you juggling either multiple people, multiple jobs, juggling priorities, needing to make a decision. Some of you need are in a process of making a decision about this. Some of you need to manage your time more wisely, or you could be adapting to doing multiple things or being with multiple people. Okay, some of you are this has some this could have something to do with your work. All right, let me know in the comment section. If it's not that, then it's some of you um could be juggling multiple people at work. But I feel like in the near future, I see you working on something that will bring in some type of stability. Like there's a goal here that you are trying to reach, but you fear. There's a fear here of loss, a, a fear here of disappointment, a fear here of having some type of relationship problem, something here. You're in fear of something here not changing, okay? You got this five of cups and the five of swords and the five of pentacles. You're in fear that something here is not changing and it's causing you to feel defeated. It's causing you to have hostility. It's causing conflict. It's causing confusion. It's causing arguments, fussing and fighting. This could be you feeling this way within yourself, or this could be you literally arguing, fussing and fighting with someone because of, you may fear that you have to walk away from someone. You're experiencing some type of financial loss or struggle here. Okay, and it's causing you to feel rejected. De um, there is um, a sense of depression here. Some of you are in fear of walking away from someone. And it's causing you to feel disappointed, depressed. Um, it's, this is, you not walking away from this situation is causing you to have missed opportunities. It's causing you to feel disconnected. You're feeling bored. It's causing you to have to reevaluate things. Let's see. I need to pull a couple more cards for this because you got the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles here. So something here is definitely changing for you. Could have something to do with an Aquarius. This is you needing spirit is saying stay optimistic. Okay? Keep the hope alive. Mm. There's some dishonesty, trickery, cheating. Some type of deceit is here. Why is this seven of That's too many cards. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You got Aquarius energy here. Three strong, three in a row. I mean, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. It's still saying that there is... Stay optimistic about the future, okay? Things will get better. But in order for things to get better, it's going to require you to, to walk away from something and to take a leap of faith in a new direction, okay? 
but you're every for some of you every time you walk away from this and go towards this new direction you go back to what it is that you're walking away from and you end up like this again okay so that i'm gonna leave it at that leo's comment in the comment section below let me know if this is your story share like subscribe okay check out your moon venus and rising sign videos you may get a clear or um a more uh more information pertaining to this reading all of it connects all right let's say virgo virgo don't forget to press the thumbs up image as well to let me know it resonates. It also lets me know that the reading resonates. I mean, um, you are in support of the channel. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Virgo. We have Virgo and then Libra and then Scorpio. Virgos, Libras, and Scorpios in that order. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Virgo. Let me write the time stamp down. <clears throat> Virgo, Virgo, 36. Okay, let's see what's going on with all the Virgos. All right, you got the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, the Ace of Pentacles, the Strength card, Leo's energy is here, Temperance. Virgo, you're in your power. You are in your power. So this looks good. This is looking good. Okay, let's see. All right, so Virgos, your current energy, you got the temperance card here. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you had Sagittarius in your chart. I feel like your patience has balanced out. Your patience has balanced out your home life, your family life. Or this is you needing patience to balance out your home life and your family life. But some of you right now, you are like, you're feeling good. You're feeling love. Okay. You're celebrating things. You're at peace in a situation. Things are like really balanced out for you at this moment. There was a new beginning in the past that required you to have strength in order to move forward. Something here in the past also required you to tame your tongue, okay? It could have something to do with you blocking someone or um, making a difficult decision to block someone with this two of swords here. And now I feel like with the hermit card here, through self-reflection, um, you got some type of enlightenment that brought in some type of wisdom, clarity, and peace. It's like you're in your power. You know exactly what you want. You gain some type of wisdom here. You fear a new beginning. You fear a new beginning. Your, your fear is that someone here is going to be playing games or playing on your time. Okay? You're, you're in fear that this person is a little immature because you got the Page of Pentacles here and this Knight of Wands. You're coming out in your power. Whomever energy this is, this is a um someone that likes to rebel. They're just immature. You could work with this person or there's some type of financial ties here. But I feel like um I feel like you're gonna stay in your power and you are only like going towards people and things that reciprocate the love that you are distributing. Okay. That's what you're going towards. Some of you could be um, planning a vacation or you're planning to travel soon or you're needing to make a decision. What's this decision? Because you got, I do feel like there's a decision here that needs to be made about something. Two of swords, two of cups, and a two of wands. What is this decision for Virgo? Okay, something... This has something to do with rewards, improving something, something here that will put you in a spotlight some kind of way.
some type of moving on. You got the six of cups. I'm sorry, the six of wands and the six of swords. And the six of pentacles here. This is a new, this is you needing to make a decision to go towards your passions. Has something to do with your money. You're, you're making a decision or needing to make a decision to go towards a new passion, to go towards some type of new beginning, but you need to do this fearlessly in order for you to have this recognition or this rewards or this self-sufficiency that you are wanting to go towards. Some type of success, stability, and security financially is what you are trying to go towards. In order for you to get to this point, you're going to have to leave something or someone behind in order to get there. You're thinking about it. It has something to do with travel. You got a lot of, um, I'm seeing the heart chakra. So your heart is connected to whatever this is that you have to leave behind. There's some type of um, <coughs> energy here. Where it's, um, if you leave it behind, it's like there's going to be some type of um, emotion due to the separation. That's what I'm getting. But I do see, I see you, I see you anticipating what's on the other side of this. Two of wands, ace of wands, three of wands. You're anticipating, you're waiting for the right time to make this move. You, it's like you can't just, you can't just go off on a whim and just leave something behind. It's like you have to wait for the right time to walk away from this. And it could be because of a family. Or it could be because this place or these people or this situation feels like home to you. It brings forth some type of contentment for you. But you do know that you have to leave it behind. You're just waiting for the right time. Okay? So I'm not, I can go on and on and on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, but I'm going to leave it at that. That's what I have, Virgos. I'm going to move on to the next sign, which is, I feel, is Libra. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Libra. Libra. Ew. Let's see. I posted a members only um, reading. So if you are not a member and you are interested, I mean, I'm going to start posting new um readings or um other stuff as well chats for members only so if you are interested in that you can become or join i think um let me see i don't know exactly if the, <laughs> i don't know the prices i know 999 is the highest um those are exclusive videos, readings, or they will be, but I think the lowest amount is $2.95 if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see. <clears throat> but you can get more information by clicking on membership to see um, exactly what the amounts are. Mm -mm -mm. Libra. Let's see what's here for Libra. King of Wands, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, hmm. Temperance. That um, Temperance card has been coming out in everyone's reading. The Strength card. And then we have Justice. Coming out is your outcome. Okay, Libra and your power showing up. <laughs> Libra showing up. All right. Some of you are taking a stand. Okay, so Libras. 
King of Wands. Right now, you're you're going towards your wish fulfillments. Bottom line, point blank and simple. You're going towards your a wish fulfillment. I feel like in the past you were working on abundance. You some of you were working overtime. You were working on abundance. You were working towards some type of financial security. And I feel like you're you're almost home with this Ten of Cups. You're almost home. Okay, or you're some of you are thinking about purchasing a home, purchasing a new home. Okay, but I'm definitely seeing you being happy. Um, there are children here surrounding you, giving you love, joy. Um, there's family surrounding you, giving you that security and stability that you are desiring. Um, you're working, working hard, working towards a wish fulfillment. I feel like in you working towards this risk fulfillment in the near future, I see resources coming your way. I see you creating harmony. Could have something to do with a um, Sagittarius. I see you needing to be patient as well, okay? Because impatience is going to create a blockage and stalemate or stuck energy if you're not patient. I feel like this situation is requiring you to be able to solve conflict without um, arguing, fussing, and fighting is requiring you to pull back and tame yourself, okay? Because you have something here coming in that is going to balance you out. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to bring you comfort. You're going to feel very familiar with it, and it's going to place you in a space where you find your space or your place in this earth, okay? Justice will be served. Things will go in your favor. But it all it's all determined by how you respond to conflict, okay? It's all determined by how you respond to conflict with this justice card here. You will find balance in your life. Mentally, financially, emotionally, and spiritually, when you learn how to tame yourself in conflict. Okay? So, Libras, that's what I have for you. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Some of you have some money coming in. Is a new job, a new job offer, a raise, or something is coming in that is going to make you really, really happy. Let's see, Scorpio. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, and then Capricorn. My nose just started running. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and then Aquarius. And then I will be doing the collective and we will be closing this bad boy out. Please don't forget to press the thumbs up image for me to let me know if it resonates. To also let me know that you are in support of the channel. All Six of Wands, Nine of Swords, Star Card, Aquarius Energy is here. Seven of Wands, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Hierophant. Taurus Energy is here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus, Scorpios. Right now, you may be getting a lot of attention from some someone or a group of people and it's causing you to feel trapped, restricted, causing you to um, overthink. You could be getting so much attention from someone that is making you wonder why this person all of a sudden is giving you this damn attention, <laughs> okay? Could be a Gemini specifically. I do feel like in the past you were optimistic about the future with this person. You wanted to work on things with this person. You wanted things to move forward. You wanted you and this person to overcome some obstacles. But 
this person may be a little immature. So you may have cut them off. For some of you, this person is a little possessive. Okay, they could be spying on you, checking out your social media page, asking people about you, driving past your home, your workplace. I see this person may be unexpectedly traveling towards you to have an unexpected conversation. Like some type of unexpected unexpected event is coming or coming your way in the near future that you don't see. This person could be coming towards you. This person could be stalking you and coming towards you. Be, be aware of your surroundings, Scorpio. Someone could be watching you, okay, trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. It could be someone you work with with this um, Ten of Pentacles here or someone you have a family with. There's some type of long-term stability here and you fear reconnecting with this person because you had to walk away from them because of some type of um, lack of security. They were insecure, some type of financial loss or you and this person work together. But there's definitely some type of work or family ties, family financial responsibilities with this person, and you walked away from them. You're hoping that you don't have to reject this person again, okay? <laughs> this person is a mess. For some of you, this person don't understand what the word no mean, okay? Because they're still continuing to come after you after... You've already in the past tried to work things out with this person. You thought you and this person had a bright future together and you cut this person off and they're, they're coming back in wanting um, to reconnect with you, okay? I feel like with your outcome being um, the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, some of you are... You're just focused on yourself right now. Your personal growth, you're focused on the things that you you need to do for you. Some of you could be getting counseling from some type of religious um, person in a high authoritative position. But yeah, you're rejecting this person. That's the it. That's I'm not even going to pull any more cards. It's it's like you're telling this person is over, and and that's that. That is it. It's over. All right, let's see, Sagittarians. What's going on with the sign of Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Capricorn, and then Aquarius. Then we will be pulling the collective. Okay. What happened? Uh, thank you. All right, let's see, Sagittarius. I will be writing the times down for each sign. So you can look at whatever zodiac sign you want. You are more than welcome to look at it. But just don't forget to let me know that the reading resonates with your situation by pressing that thumbs up image. Okay. Let's see. Say, oh, I forgot to write down Scorpio's time. I thought I did. But I didn't. All right. Well, that's two I didn't write down. That's okay. Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The Star card. Some of you are focused on stability, focused on money. You may be thinking about walking away or leaving a job. Some of you are thinking about walking away from a job, walking away from a long-term commitment. That's what's on your mind right now. I feel like some of you are overthinking it, but let's see. So again... And apply the energy as it fits to your story. Let me know in the comment section below, Sagittarius, if you're thinking about walking away from a job or a long-term commitment. In the past, there was an opportunity to heal a situation. I feel like you were really optimistic about it after a conversation, but you're still thinking about walking away from it. But you may not have walked away from it because you may be in thinking about 
some type of financial hardship if you decide to leave this behind because you're overthinking. You're feeling restricted. You're feeling like you can't get out of it because of a financial loss if you walk away from it. So I do see in the near future, you are pushing through it. It's hard work. It's dedication, but you're going to, you're determined to work things out. And I feel like you're determined to work things out because there are, um, you, you're, you're wanting to go towards success. Okay. You're wanting to go towards success, but you're in fear that you're not going to have the victory. You're not, you're in fear. You're not going to get the recognition for the hard work that you put into this. Okay. You're in, you're in fear that you're not going to be recognized for the new ideas that you are coming up with to, to, or, um, you're not going to be recognized for your contribution in this company or in this relationship. Okay. You're hoping that you can move towards peace and harmony, but for some of you, you're going to leave, you're going to walk away from this. You're going to walk away from this confidently and go towards the things and the people that give you um, the, the, the rewards and the accolades that go with what you're putting into this company or into a relationship. Some of you are feeling unappreciated. That's the word I'm looking for. You're feeling unappreciated and that's what's causing you to feel like you want to leave this behind. Okay. But I will tell you, you do have a new beginning on the other side of this. Okay. So once you leave this behind, there's a breakthrough. There's a new opportunity on the other side of this. Okay. So balance will be coming in in your outcome. You just have to push through this time right now. All right. Let's see. Capricorns. Capricorn. Aquarius collective. Capricorns, Aquarius, and then a collective. Let me make sure after I shuffle, I write down the time for Capricorns. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, do me a favor. If the reading resonates with your situation, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. We know it resonates and to show some support to the channel. Let's see. Capricorns, what's going on with the sign of Capricorn? Let me get the time stamp down. Okay, we got 57. I'm going to just put 5,800. Yep. The lovers. I'm sorry, the tower card. Scorpio Aries energy is here. Sagittarius energy. Aquarius. Aries. Strong Scorpio. You got all, a lot of major arcanas here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. So whatever is going on in your life at this time, Capricorn, this is the universe doing this. Okay, this is this is out of your control at this point. But right now, Capricorns, I feel like there is some type of unexpected change here. And I feel like this unexpected change was a new passionate beginning. So some of you are starting over. Some There's an old foundation, something in your past that had a foundation came apart. But it came apart. So, so that you can have a new opportunity to rebuild, to move, to rebuild and go towards um, more progress, to go towards something more creative, something that will bring in some type of enthusiasm and encouragement for you. But you're in a, you're right now, you're having this new passionate beginning. I feel like in the past, this, um, you wanted to go towards something that was balanced. You wanted more resources. You needed to be patient and wait for this new opportunity to come in. And this new opportunity, which is a new beginning, required you to have um, to take a leap of faith in a new direction. 
And I feel like right now, you're just looking at long-term success. You're looking at rewards. You're looking to, to um, persevere. You're looking to overcome. And you're not looking back. You're putting in the hard work now so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor in the, in the near future or in the future. Right now, this, this was the best result for you. You made the judgment call to take this leap of faith. And this leap of faith that you took in the past, in the near future, this was the best result for you. You fear, though. There's a fear here that there are going to be some challenges ahead due to a decision that's going to need to be made pertaining to a move with the chariot card here followed by the lover's card. So you're in fear that you're going to have to decide on or there's a challenge or some type of blockage here pertaining to, could be a Cancer or a Gemini, about a move. And you're hoping that it doesn't result in... You're hoping that this decision does not result in a betrayal or some type of disappointment, okay? Yeah, there is some type of decision that only you can make that's going to re result in a challenge because it's, this decision has something to do with a move. You're trying to maintain balance in your outcome. You're trying to maintain some type of balance. Okay. But again, the eight of the eight of wands is here. There's something here about some type of unexpected move or unexpected travel. I feel like a conversation needs to take place in order to bring forth some type of clarity because this decision is coming. And I feel like it's going, I'm looking at these wands. This decision is coming and I feel like things are going to happen fast for you. So you're going to need to know like when that time comes, which direction you want to move in. Because if you're, if it's, if this is not being discussed, it's going to create a blockage in the near future. All right. So that's what I have. Capricorns, I am going to move on to the sign of Aquarius. We have Aquarius and then a collective, and then we will be closing this out. Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Aquarius. the time down and then we will get started <clears throat> let's see the world card Aquarius some of you could be thinking about traveling could be dealing with a fixed sign like yourself another Aquarius a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. Um, you have Aries energy here. Pisces energy is here. Sagittarius energy is here. Cancer's energy is here as well. Aquarius. I feel like right now, again, you're even thinking about traveling. Something here is coming to an end for you. Um, something here is coming full circle. I see you are overcoming something. Okay, this could be an end of a cycle. This could be the end of um, some type of conflict. There's an ending to a cycle. And I feel like this ending is here because you were able to like stand your ground or fight back in a situation okay you were able to stand your ground or fight back in this situation in the past some of you uh may need to get a car checked out 
I'm looking at this world card and then you got the will of fortune right underneath. So some of you may need to get a car check, uh, get your car checked out. You're thinking about getting a new car. You could be thinking about taking like a local vacation or like a short trip somewhere. But okay, I feel like in the past, um, some of you had to definitely deal with something that was very difficult and you had to remain calm in a situation. I feel like you may have been feeling like in the past you were going around in circles with someone. You felt like you were going around in circles. You felt like with the emperor car here that this person was trying to control you in some kind of way. And you had to remain calm and disciplined in this situation. Right now with the strength card, Leo's energy, I still feel like you are like remaining calm. You're taming yourself because you are not wanting to um, like get into any conflict or create conflict or cause conflict. So you're holding back right now with this, this strength card. and But it's requiring you to, some of you are holding a tongue. I don't know if you can see in this card, but it's like she's like taming the tongue in some kind of way. So you could be taming your tongue. You could be taming like your emotions, but you're holding back overall to um, maintain like a calm space. Okay. You are using all of your strength and courage to do this. Now, I do see in your near future, I do see you strategizing and trying to figure out ways to release yourself from this situation, but you fear that there's not going to be a new beginning, okay? You fear that there's not going to be a new beginning, and you fear that there's not going to be a new beginning because some of you may not want to let go. You're not letting go. You may not know how to let go. There's some type of doubt or insecurities pertaining to detaching from this situation. Okay. There's heartbreak here connected to you separating yourself from this situation. And it could be because you either work with these people Okay, because this is a group of people. There are some type of um, teamwork here or some type of collaboration will be created. Some type of collab will come to an end if you walk away from this. There will be some type of trauma, some type of loss, some type of emotional pain will take place if you release yourself from this situation. I just need to see why. Okay. There could be children involved. There could be children involved. Could be a cancer involved. I'm definitely getting something here about children. Hmm. I do feel like you are eventually going to walk away from this. I, I, I see you with, withdrawing your energy. I see you reflecting, going into isolation, solitude, so that you can gain clarity and wisdom. So that you can put things in a different perspective or see things from a different perspective. It's like you have to get away. You got to get away or detach from this. This these people in order for you to gain the clarity that you need because right now you're feeling like this you may not be saying anything you're holding it all in but you're weighing your options at the same time you're trying to just figure out you're trying to okay you're trying to figure out how to work things out without causing disappointment okay so that's what I have for you, Aquarians. <sighs> Give me a second. Who is it?
Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let's go do the collective and then we are going to close this out. Let's see. Collective, the energy for the collective. Oh. Energy for the collective. Time is. I'll put 71 under it. Energy for the collective. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> the animals are so funny. Because I am really like trying to figure out. I opens up the door and he goes to the door and grabs the bag. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so funny. It's so cute. Okay. Okay. Moon card. All right, collective. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer. Capricorn's energy is here. The double card. Excuse me. I apologize. That was not nice. But I couldn't help it. So, collective, right now, you could be deciding on where you want to travel to. Or you're hiding the fact that you need to make a decision. Okay? You're hiding the fact that you need to make a decision pertaining to a cancer or a Pisces. I feel like in the past, there was a conversation that took place regarding a third-party situation. Or there was a decision, a conversation that took place in the past that brought forth some type of clarity about... Um, some type of limitation. Someone here could be wanting to overcome the fact that they're in a stalemate union and something here is not moving forward. Someone here is ready to have a family, okay? And I feel like in the near future, I feel like someone here is dragging their feet. Like they're not making a decision to level up in a union. You fear that this person does not see your worth. They do not see your value. They do not see what you bring to the table and that you're not going to get the security and the stability and the commitment that you are desiring. I feel like there's an unexpected event that's going to take place that will bring you and this person back together and there will be a new beginning in love that re will require you and this person to put the work in so that there's fulfillment, okay? So that's what I have for you, Collective. I'm going to leave it at that. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Okay? If you have not already, make sure your notifications are on. All right? I hope that you all are trying to enjoy this beautiful day. If the reading resonates with your situation, the person you came here for a situation... Let me know by pressing a thumbs up image to help the video circulate, to show some support to the channel if you have not already. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. If you want to become a member, check, um, click on the member tab. Also, go to the community, community section of the channel to find out more information. But be safe. I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time.